Well, today we're gonna to try something a little different on the channel. This plane is called the Ishin Flying Fish, and if you're interested in it at any point in the video, it's linked in the description box below. It's a nice little dual motor, electric, of course, RC plane. I slapped it together in probably, I mean, realistically, 10 minutes or so. It was a very quick assembly. Now, a lot of Ishin airplanes, you'll notice, are ready to fly. Those Ishin Warbirds, guys, if you're a subscriber to our channel, you know and love those, and we do too. This plane, however, is totally different. It is an Ishin bird that will be flying on my good old reliable tactic transmitter today, and it had its own ESC in here. Like, everything is in here except for the receiver, just a little bit of a smaller, cheaper style of setup, but the brushless motors make it stand out, and this very durable foam also makes it stand out. Now, something that you can do with this airplane before we fly it is add FPV cameras to it and fly it FPV, but I won't be doing that today because I just don't enjoy FPV the way I used to. I like flying line of sight a bit more now, and it comes with an alternate canopy you can pop on here for a small camera, and then you can also mount your FPV system up top. So. I will note too, I put these stickers on in the house where it was nice and warm, but they are not sticking on at all. So I'm kind of thinking we're just gonna fly without those because that's probably gonna fall off and litter while we're in flight. So the stickers are pretty cheap. We'll put some good high quality RC Sailor stickers on here and it'll look 10 times better and probably fly 10 times better. Let's fly. Whoa, <laughs> I climbed so fast. Well, I wasn't expecting that much of a there performance out of this. So it's little, but wow, it's punchy. My goodness. Okay, I've got a lot of trimming to do, Abby. Oh I'm my sorry goodness. for that sudden climb. Sorry for the sudden climb. That was, the reason it did that is because when I let go of my right stick, it climbs. You see that? That's a lot of climb. And it, I'll tell you why. I took this receiver out of another airplane and it has already been trimmed up. And so <laughs> it wasn't centered and I think that's part of it. Um, aileron trim feels good, but when I let go of it, it's still climbing. So just trying to get it to fly nice and level here, guys. This is a true maiden. That's what we do on our channel. We want you to see the realness of RC. It's not just gonna fly perfect every time you launch it in the sky, but we're getting it to where it's going to fly perfect here in just a second. This is what a maiden flight, a lot of times, if you don't have like safe technology with a Spectrum airplane, uh, a lot of times, or an E-Flight airplane, a lot of times this is what a maiden looks like. You know, it's kind of squirrely and quirky and still needs a little bit of down trim, but not much. It's feeling pretty good, really good now. Let's see, almost dropping a hair. So let's give it one or two clicks of up. Oh yeah, this is nice. Flying completely pure here, you guys. No flight stabilization or anything like that. I'm cruising at about half throttle this, this whole time right now. That's, that's hands-free. Okay, a little bit of drop. You know, I gotta maintain a little bit of controls on it, but I can go hands-free for multiple seconds at a time and that's just wonderful. Uh, another reason I wanted to peel those stickers off is because if they start coming off during flight, that can create an insane amount of drag and cause you to crash. So not only for litter's sake, but for uh, aerodynamics. Aerodynamics, that's right. <laughs> okay, this is flying really good. We're just cruising right along here. It's super punchy. Probably could have hand launched that at about half throttle because that's where we're cruising right now, but maybe three quarter throttle to really get it in the air. Uh, this is really nice. I'm excited to try the roll rate. I think it's gonna be really high on this. Let's throw a roll at it now because I feel so good about this flight. Oh, that's so perfect. Left roll, let's do a loop. We'll just go Cuban 8 style here. Get it a little closer to the camera. Oh, this could climb forever. Let's do an actual it's so climb. Fast. climb, 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 climb with full throttle. Oh, just climb forever. Just snap it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What a beautiful little airplane. This is awesome, you guys. That's zero throttle. And throttling up. Because the it actually feels like, um, maybe because it's lighter weight, it uh, doesn't glide insanely well. It has some glide, some good glide tendencies, but it definitely loses that momentum quickly when we go zero throttle. So let's go out here, out of this bank, and zero throttle. I would say on a windy day, you could stay aloft pretty easily. That's still zero throttle and throttling up. 
So it does okay, but I had to maintain elevator input to that just a little bit so it wouldn't drop too fast. And um, ah, it's quiet too, listen. I like that. This thing, you could, if you had like a long range FPV set up, just because of how quiet this is, it is, you know, really cool. Wow, double roll, sweet. This is really nice. I wasn't expecting this performance out of this. I see that rainbow again, Abby. Come, come, chase the airplane, chase the airplane, chase the airplane. Easier Let's go find said that than rain, done, rainbow just so you know. Way up here. Look at this, look at this rainbow right there. Same spot in the clouds. That is weird. That is so weird. That is almost like it's refracting off of glass or something. That is wild. Look at that. Why do we keep seeing the rainbow in the same awesome. spot there multiple days now? Look at that. Isn't that crazy? It's awesome. Are you still recording that? Yeah. That is just this one little spot of rainbow. I'm using my hand to block the sun so I can just maintain the airplane right there. That is weird. I don't see that very often. Wow. Okay. Weird things going on in the sky here, but let's we'll keep flying our little toy airplane and keep talking about that. <laughs> This is so cool. Let's try an inverted pass here. Let's see how it does inverted. Probably really well. Oh yeah. This thing is just like a little dart. Oh, it's awesome. This is a sweet little plane. Now I have to maintain just a little bit of elevator to keep it from stalling, but it's a little twitchy inverted. Okay. That's be, I could use a little expo to be honest, but that's still inverted. And let's do an outside loop, climb out of that. So nice. Let's do a high power. Wait. Dive, dive, dive. Where'd you go? I'm way up high there. <laughs> I completely lost you. I'm just kind of owning the I see you. With this oh thing. my gosh. It disappears Throttle. so quickly. And we'll just kind of snap it a little bit. Oh, that's nice. This is a wild little thing if you want it to be, too. This is a very capable little airplane. Whew. Throttle up. Power. And just go nuts. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Oh. Now orientation on this is pretty nice because I can <laughs> see that black canopy. And then of course the tail. Let's we'll see that again, like right here. Look at that, Abby. Just crazy. <laughs> That's just a little rudder, elevator, and aileron input all at the same time. Wow. I wonder if I can do that one way and then snap it the other way. Okay, like that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Where <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> This is just a crazy little plane and I'm not too worried about it because the, you know, the cost wasn't that high. It's not like I'm flying my $500 jet out here or anything like that. And then we go. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Fun. So it'll do your basic stuff very easily. But it'll do, uh, it glides really well. Can a knife edge? Not really well. Not really well. There's not a lot of rudder authority on this but you can set up differential thrust. It said in the instructions, but in order to do so, Abby, you're losing it, aren't you? I got it. In order to do differential thrust, you have to... Uh, oh my goodness. You have to unsolder the motor wire leads, I believe is what it said, and resolder them somewhere else. And I did not want to do that. It's a pretty much plug and play setup. You just plug the things into the little built-in ESC, then plug in your uh, receiver to the wires running off of everything just like a normal airplane really and uh, I didn't want to unsolder and resolder things just for differential thrust on this this is really fun and I'm flying on a 3s 1000 milliamp lipo battery with an xt30 plug you are exhausting me I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just, it's really fun to fly it's uh dominating it's, our difficult. little local area of sky here and really zippy and really fun. Super efficient flight on this 1,000 milliamp mm, battery. Seven too. and a half minutes. And I don't have any room for a lipo alarm in here or anything like that. So I probably won't push this too much longer. But I just have a feeling we could get a nice long flight time out of that if we really wanted to. Well, let's find a nice little grassy spot to plop this down. And... <laughs> I, I'm giving this a couple solid thumbs up. I think we're gonna have to land it right behind us, Abby. So get ready to turn around really fast and catch it landing in the grass. I could just land it out here. That's what I'll do. Right there. 
No, not Your bad. Your depth perception is incredible. <laughs> I would have not been able to tell if I was over the grass or not. <laughs> We well, guys got to give Abby some credit for recording this because it is a small little kind of a dart looking thing in real life versus camera. I thought it was a lot easier to see than probably what it may have looked like, especially if you're watching it on your phone. Abby is actually recording on a screen that's about the size of this canopy. It's very small. It's actually smaller than that. So you got to give her credit for that. The only thing I thought was a little funky with this um, is I believe, and it is so hard to tell, I mean I did this with the props off and I tried to feel the direction the motor was spinning. I truly believe, and I, I could be wrong, that the motor is spinning in the wrong direction. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you have two props on a plane, aren't the props and motors supposed to spin, I would say, inward? So the top going down and over in, right, on both sides. So they're actually opposite of each other. This prop would spin this way and this prop would spin this way, okay? That's how I thought these kind of planes worked, and I'm okay to admit that some of my knowledge is still fairly amateur, uh, but I did put the props on the right way, and they were obviously pushing thrust out the wrong direction, so I reversed the props, and now this one is actually spinning, I would say, outward, and so is this one in order to get, obviously, great enough thrust to fly, so I don't think it affected it too much, and I know that on most airplanes, you could reverse two, any two of the three motor wires to reverse the direction. But these you couldn't because they're directly ran from the motor in the wing into that little ESC chip, okay? And so I couldn't just reverse two, I, I tried. Um, couldn't do it. But it flew fine, so I don't know that that even matters. I thought it did, but apparently not. Now, this airplane is uh, just really impressive for as small as it is. I, I imagine that flying FPV on this would be even more fun. So if FPV is your thing, as I said, it comes with a different canopy. You pop right on there for FPV. And then this up here too, you can set up your FPV gear, your antenna, or even your camera up there if you really wanted to. Just to give you an idea, inside the canopy, there's how much space you have. That is with a 3S 1000 milliamp LiPo battery with an XT30 plug. Really, there's no space behind that, uh, no usable space unless you have a thin battery behind this wire. I'm gonna try to show you guys an angle in there. Did it come with that battery? No, it did not. You gotta provide your own batteries. Um, and there's no space up in the nose either, just a little space to run a wire in case you needed to get some wiring in there for your camera. So we'll link the battery that I'm flying in this very specifically because with that battery I think it's very important to note the CG is just about perfect guys I'm going to show you and I'm trying to show you everything you need to know in this video to get this up and flying but the CG there's two little dots and they've pre-marked them right here you can feel them um, let's see I don't want to drop it you see the drug can you show us the dots I will I will Okay. My fingers are on those dots now, and it's almost perfect. If anything, it's slightly nose heavy, and that's what you would want rather than tail heavy. Nose heavy, you can trim up. Tail heavy, you're just going to pick up the pieces when you're done. Uh, you wanted to see the dots. Yeah, they're you hard, said they're dots. Well, they're hard to see because they are in the foam. I see them. But that's it, and they're on both sides. I see. All the servos come installed. You just have to put the main wing, the horizontal stabilizer, and then install one of the push rods back there. Everything is really done for you. Like I said, about 10 minutes of installation time and you've got a really great performing little fun brushless RC plane. I think the price is fair and um, it's linked in the description box below. If this gets you excited and you wanna pick one up, please consider using our link. I wanna thank God for this awesome, beautiful day to get out and fly. I wasn't expecting it to be this nice. It's cold, but it's really nice. It's beautiful skies and uh, it's just a great day to share this experience with you guys. Also, a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we could not do our channel without you. You mean the world to us. We truly mean that. We'll have another awesome little plane video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!